serial killers people who receive pleasure off misery death and or pain of others most of the time serial killers are made rather than born made through their own pain and misery as children they become terrifying adults who reflect their pain upon others these are truly disturbing individuals so let's begin welcome to freaky fates frightening five Number 1. John Wayne Gacy Almost everyone has heard about the infamous John Wayne Gacy, the killer clown some people will refer to him as. John was a truly disturbed individual, for a lack of a better term. Like many serial killers on this list, John received abuse from an early age from his alcoholic father. However, this does not excuse his actions. John was accused and convicted of the murders of 33 boys and young men. He would sexually assault or rape the boys before murdering them and hiding them in his house. John Wayne Gacy was convicted February 6, 1980 and sentenced to death. He died by lethal injection on May 9th, 1994. His last words being, kiss my ass. Number two, Dean Arnold Coral. Unlike a lot of serial killers, Dean Arnold Coral had a relatively normal life. His parents divorced, remarried, divorced once more. He kept in contact with his father and mother, but something in Dean from birth would lead to him to becoming one of the most disturbed murderers of our time. Dean, along with two teenage boys, murdered, raped, and tortured 28 young boys. Dean was actually John Wayne Gacy's inspiration. The mass murders by Dean and his two accomplices were known as the Houston Mass Murders. The murders were not discovered till Dean was shot fatally by one of his accomplices, Elmer Wayne Henley. Henley was convicted of the murder of six of the boys on July 16th, 1974. He was sentenced to life in prison. Number three, Amy Archer Gilligan. A sweet, innocent nurse is what every nursing home wants. Unfortunately, Amy Archer Gilligan was far from innocent. While she only can... While she was only convicted of murdering five people, she is still one of the earliest female serial killers. Her childhood was seemingly normal. She went to nursing school, married her first husband only for him to pass of natural causes, and marrying her second husband. A normal life, it would seem. Until family members of patients under Amy's care became suspicious. However, she is suspected to have killed more than just five people. She would poison them when killing them. Many of them being her own patients, but one of them being her second husband. Amy was convicted in 1919 and was sentenced to life in prison. Number four, Juan Corona. The American dream, something many immigrants wish to achieve. Juan Corona wished for something more sinister. Moving to Yuba City, California to begin his life. After a flood had occurred, he had a mental breakdown and was taken to a hospital in Auburn, California. This is where he was diagnosed with a schizophrenic reaction, a paranoid type. However, after receiving multiple shock treatments, it was believed he was cured. He was found guilty in 1973 of 25 accounts of homicide after receiving a new trial. He is currently spending his sentence in Corcorna Prison in California and will be eligible for parole in 2021 when he will be 87 years old. Number five, Gary Ridgway. Most people take pity on young women and girls who started as runaways from home. Not Gary Ridgway one of the highest serial killers in American history. He's believed to have killed at least 90 young girls and women, but has only been convicted of 49 murders. 
He would strangle his victims and dump their dead bodies in the woods, most of the time returning to rape the bodies of the victims. His childhood is described as somewhat troubled, his first attempt of murder though being at age 16 after luring a six-year-old boy into the woods. However, the boy survived. He now spends life in prison in solitary and is at age 68 with no chance at parole. Serial killers are some of the scariest and most disturbed individuals in our society. But what are the possibilities that you may ever encounter one? You may not know until it's too late. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed Frightening Fives Episode 3. Who do you think was the most disturbing murderer on this list? Click the link in the description to vote on a poll and leave a comment down below. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe since I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and leave a like behind to make my day. And as always, stay freaky, my little freaks. I'll see you later.